Recently, I caught wind of an amazing project. So I bought a flight ticket and booked a hotel here in Brownsville, Texas. Any idea why I'm here? I'll give you a hint. Behind me over there, you can see the very tip of a Falcon X. That's a fucking spaceship designed by Elon Musk's company SpaceX that's reusable and is part of his mission to put people on Mars. Now, you might ask, what is Jared doing here? There must be a 3D printed house. And you won't believe it, but they actually printed in addition to their facility here in Texas. I think it's part of SpaceX experimenting with technologies that could be used here or extraterrestrially. They chose to work with Apis Core. This project is top secret. Nobody's seen it, not on Fox, CNN, any major news network. You're gonna see it here first on my channel. I feel super fortunate that somebody anonymously reached out to me and let me know that this project was in a public location and nobody else knew about it. This is exactly why I started doing this in the first place, so that I could get access to information like this and share it with you before the big journalism gets to it first. Videos like this are really the reason I embarked on this journey in the first place. The projects that everybody else has seen are cool, but when I can break a new story, that's really what makes me feel good about what I'm doing. I'm able to book this last minute, even though it was kind of expensive, because of the virtual village. The virtual village is where I upload 360 Matterport scans of all the sites I visit and video podcast episodes. The audio is always free on Spotify, but I also record video of my founder interviews, which can be accessed on the virtual village. 15% off with code EARLYBIRD until we have 50 members. At that point, I'll also be adding some brand new features that'll be very cool, so make sure to join before the price goes up. There are many companies SpaceX could have chosen to work with for this project. As we know, there are over a dozen companies that have concrete printers uh, at this day and age, at this stage of the industry. When we first started years ago, there were really only a handful, but it's exploded. I think a big part of the reason SpaceX chose to work with Apis Core is because of Apis Core's success in the Search Plus NASA competition three years ago, where they advanced through certain stages in the pursuit of making a waterproof structure. When you're in space, especially on Mars, the most important thing is protecting from radiation. And if you can't keep water out, you definitely won't be keeping out radiation. So this is kind of a prerequisite for any type of Mars construction. On the moon, things are a little bit simpler. It's very flat in Brownsville, so you can see the tall rockets from a pretty far distance away. I'm sure being up close is the only way to truly realize the scale of these enormous machines. It truly feels special to be in the SpaceX facility, knowing that's the place they launch rockets. Just being around this much technology is kind of inspiring. All the local residents have stories to tell about how much the city has changed since SpaceX has come here. The new printed structure is an addition to this building, a SpaceX owned building called The Hub. They have a break room with some snacks and such. I'm not sure exactly what they'll put in there, but it's a cool space with a nice backyard. There's even some guys playing bago. I'm really curious what the purpose was for this project and what they intend to use the space for. The name Hub makes it sound like an innovation space or kind of a, an R&D center. This is the point that I got asked to leave. They were super nice about it, and so I wanted to be respectful of their wishes. I was also trespassing on private property. Do you have a badge on you? So they had every right to tell me to get out of there. They were even kind enough to leave the gate open for me for 10 minutes so I could snag a quick shot. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to come back through the proper routes and potentially even do an interview with someone from their team. I'm really sorry that I didn't get more footage. I would have loved to film the inside of the project and get some up close images of the wall that way you could see the quality, but I had to go. I flew all the way down here for just a few quick shots, but in my opinion it was worth it because I saw that it exists and hopefully I'll be able to come back next time. So you can see a little glimpse of the project over there. I was just kicked out. They said I need a badge or permission in order to film on site, which is pretty unfortunate because I just got here. The foreman gave me permission, but somebody walked over from SpaceX. I got his email. Hopefully I can film in the future when I'm back in January, but for now all we get is this little glimpse of what the project looks like. I gotta say, it's really nice. I don't see any cracking, which is pretty unique. And 
it's an addition to the building, so hopefully it was not too expensive. Ideally, this was the cheaper alternative, and I think this is possible because they didn't have to do brand new electrical, uh, plumbing, anything like that. They just hooked everything up to the existing building. I would really love to talk with someone more about their motivations behind this project, but that'll have to wait. Maybe Ruiz can give me a, a second chance in the future. This is a side view of the building. It's kind of hard to see. From a distance, it blends in with the original structure, which I think is actually very promising because some people won't want a unique design that stands out from its surroundings. There are people who prefer construction just remain the way it looks today. And so having that option makes 3D printed concrete much more versatile. Some may speculate that they're experimenting with 3D printing for outer space, being that they are a spacefaring company. But I think it's possible they're just opting to use this method on Earth to figure out if it's a cheaper way for them to build facilities here in Texas. Of all the projects I've visited, I have to say this one is my absolute favorite. It's not the coolest design or the biggest or the most impressive, but SpaceX getting involved in this technology is a huge step forward for the industry. It's not just startup companies pushing this technology. Really big important players are beginning to experiment with what 3D printed concrete can make possible. This knowledge gives me a renewed energy for pursuing the 3D printed construction space, knowing that it'll continue expanding more and more rapidly as it evolves going forward. There's a couple more rockets. I can't really show you the 3D printed building, so I'll, I guess I'll show you those instead. Unfortunately, I also can't really film drone footage here because the SpaceX uh, rocket launches, I guess, make it a restricted airspace. Here they've got all kinds of solar panels. They said if I put the drone up, I'd get arrested, but it's only 250 grams, so I really don't think that's true. I don't know. Make sure to check out the Virtual Village free demo in the link below. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.